Welcome to my permadev series for No Man's Sky and here we are wrapping my freighter next to the laughing gnome. Now I did have something planned for this video but to be honest it's not been a particularly good start to the day. So what I'm going to do is we're just going to go out and see what happens. We're still in the system that I was in in the previous video. I think maybe what I want to do is continue the journey towards the centre of the galaxy and that could be fun see what we can find so the galaxy center is this way because I do want to get to the center of the galaxy so that we can get to the next one I mean I've been to this galaxy the Calypso galaxy before but I've never been beyond that so it'd be really fun to get to the center what we got here we've got any information on here that's struggling I think I'd rather go for something that's maybe got a bit of cash we go for try and get out to maximum range unsuccessful developing comfortable so about that one this is a gex system looks like it's got four planets and one moon in it, it says it's comfortable yeah let's go here and it says it's water boiled and here we are see what we got in the way of planets we've got frost crystals dark side mag magnetized ferrite another planet over there oh is that surprised aggressive sentinels There's an unknown moon over there Obviously, this is a little bit of a cold system. Because I am still looking for a base location. We've got a tropical planet, aggressive sentinels. Thank you, game. Actually, let's just get a little bit clear of the asteroids. I think I'm going to change back to the living ship now. Now I've done the jump. Come into here. And see if we can get another up. See if we can get an upgrade for the living ship. So I'm just going to land in here. And get around the big solar panels. Get into the living ship. And a big thank you for your comments and feedbacks. It's, it's very interesting reading your comments and your observations on the game. And. There have been a couple of comments that have given me food for thought and one thing I have been reflecting on is the way I'm approaching this game and I realise that I'm, I'm a long way into this uh, series and it's going to go on a lot longer because I do really want to get to the a, a new galaxies and keep going on. Oh, that's got empty, empty planet ancient bones. And one thing I have realised and and one thing I have been thinking about is what would I do differently if I was, say, starting a new playthrough? Which is a possibility because you never know what Hello Games may spring on me. I would probably be a little bit more organised in getting some of the, the basic stuff out of the way. Like at the moment, I still haven't completed the manufacturing tech, which, which could be very useful to making money. That's something if I started again, I'd put a little bit more focus on. Is getting some of that out of the way so that I don't have to keep um, having to rethink things and the other thing also is in the previous video I was talking about remembrance and if I come in here and I was actually looking at this and the remembrance is actually a, a tech that you can install but to do it we need the heart of the Sun and, and to do that get to the heart of the Sun I think can't remember what we need to make the heart of the sun actually. Englobed on, I think it could be one of these actually. Yeah, heart of the sun. So, what we would have to do is start the process of manufacturing here. So, we'd have to start with the captured nanotube and work our way up. We want the captured nanotube. See if we can get here. So, see how far we can get out of curiosity. Okay, so we've got the what's that englobed shade 
So I need 100 ionized cobalt to go to the next one. So maybe I'll just work on getting that completed. Yeah, so you don't actually manufacture the Remembrance. It is a tech that you actually install. Anyway, next thing I need to do is look for Minotaur upgrades. Certainly want to do that. We've got a laser module. Can't remember. I think we've got cannon modules, so we, I don't think I've got, got a Minotaur engine module. I think we'll, we'll get those as well. So I do want to upgrade the Minotaur. I've, I've, I'm being optimistic that maybe if I upgrade it, it will actually work, be able to fly and move properly. So we'll get that there. And I'm just going to go up here and check the missions. So apologies in advance that this may be a little bit of an erratic video because I've got no real focus. I'm just going to see where the flow is going to take me. Uh, browse missions, country harvester, defender freighter. And that could be interesting. Probably not something I would want to do in the living ship. Uh, locate a missing person. Yeah, let's, let's see where that takes us. Thank you, game. It'll probably take me to the hostile planet. Okay, thank you. I mean, I'm still looking for an S class explorer to replace Darkstar with as well. So many things to do, so many things to do. When, when you jump in this ship and you've got that shield in front of you, it always kind of throws me off a little bit. Head for the locate missing person, and of course, what we can do is do a little bit of a check for manufacturing bases. And for once, we're not being blinded by a storm. Oops, I seem to have lost the trading station. <laughs> Come on, game, let me land. Well, I should be able to land on a trading platform. Oh, yeah. huh. Look at that, and there was nobody on this trading platform, and as soon as I've landed, everyone's turned up. What I do want to do is I want to see whether you will sell me some tritium. I'm very low on tritium at the moment because I haven't really spent the time yet. Well, we'll take 130. Let's just get a look. Buy that. Anything that's lootable around here. Go and talk to Mr. Get here. Hello. Ran tin friend me to for lean but uh, bribe 20 radium I've got radium but it's up on my freighter so we're gonna have to go up on my freighter and find that interesting never been asked for radium before let's just go up to here oh that's not a problem uh, grab that iron battery don't need any rusted metal, so we'll just throw it away for once. I'll get relic. What we'll do? Oh, listen. Wow. It's a C class. Let's see if let's see what you've got. Okay, hello, friend. The biosims. Well, I will take fifty-three tritium. I know it's small, small beer, but <laughs> and grab this condensed carbon and get rid of that. Um, pull back to casing. And another Gek Relic. 
We actually got a tritium hypercluster that can go to the freighter. Uh, so we got a couple of gate relics, a corbett's casing, an antimatter housing, and I've got my englobed shade. <laughs> oh well, never mind. Just say hello to this guy, peace loving. Uh, we'll request dialect help. Mystery symbol. We've learned the Gek word for alert. I suppose I could summon the freighter, but what we'll do is we'll go up into space and summon the freighter. We need to summon it anyway, so that I can deploy the Minotaur. I think it's even if you don't like the Minotaur, the other exocrafts, I think having that option can be very useful. Why can't you? I think this is the right planet. Um, this is the right system that freighter can be summoned to, yeah. Just gonna put a quick dash in here. And I'm just gonna have to shoot up here. And I do actually have some outstanding missions. I suppose I could cash the missions in. I've not had much luck recently with the frigate modules. I've done quite a few missions and I haven't actually got anything out of it. And it's not that one, so it must be this one that's got radium in it. Here we are. And we need about. Wow, well, we'll take 250 with us. Um, and what I've actually decided to do is. That side is general supplies. This side is my construction supplies. So that's the overall plan that I've got here. I am trying to get a little bit more organized. <laughs> Famous last words. Got loads of silicon. I've got ferrite dust in here, which I don't really need. So what we can do is send the that to there. That needs to go to the freighter. Um, How much space have I got in the freighter at the moment? Oh, we should be okay. Well, what we will do... Oops. Well, I think we'll just cash the missions in. I don't think I'm going to have the fuel to send out. Probably uh, probably the maximum of one mission. So we'll just have a quick debrief. Hopefully... I think we'll actually... Okay, DNA, uh, DNA samples. Think, um, archived. Seem to be getting a lot more cash on these missions and anything else now. Activated Indium. Yep. And we got fresh hatchlings, 942 years old. What do you have to say? Activated Indium. Actually, I just, let me just have a quick look. Um, what's it? Oh. Which is the... Ionized cobalt, so it's not activated indium. Right, let's just get here and sell some of that stuff off on the freighter. Storm crystals, platinum. I think I'll sell the geodesite because it's, it's a pretty good price. Plus, I've got quite a lot of geodesite at the moment. I can just sell that off. I am a cell the flooring lapis as well. And I'm just gonna get into here. I mean some ionized cobalt could be nice. Debrief commander. Purchase cheap goods during surplus profit, profit, get nip. Uh, more profit, more profit. Lots of profit. I think that was the And we've got some germ warts, wherever they are. That's worth 192,000. That's worth half a million. Not bad, I suppose. Not bad. And we 
got here? Dirty bronze, carbon crystals, herox, activated copper, superoxide, activated cadmium. Again, nothing particularly special there. I mean, the money is building up. So we've got about 750 tons in fuel. So we've probably got enough fuel for one, maybe two small missions. We'll just come in here. Adventure expeditions. But well, we could go on the industrial mission. So one, two, three. I don't think I've got a compressor, which is what I would need for the thing. So I'm just gonna have to send this out. And that probably consumes all my fuel now. Uh, yep, I've got 50 tons of fuel left. <laughs> I mean, I've been looking for someone who would sell me a really large quantity of tritium, but they don't seem well. They don't seem to want to play ball. Right, so we definitely got the radium. And we'll take all that stuff. We can sell that on the trading station. So we're just going to jump back into here. And away we go. Might as well blast the asteroids. At the moment, this seems to be the only surefire way to get tritium. It's just to blast asteroids as you fly through them. Yeah. I got a tritium hypercluster that could be useful. Wow, we got that close to the planet that quickly. So back to the trading station. Just gonna see if we can land first time this now. We up. Got the approach right that time. So we'll go to talk to our jolly old friend here. And this time he I got the radium for him, so. Bribe 20 radium, thank you. Target last known received. It's minor settlement, so we've got possible trade options there. I'm just going to grab this. Sell. Minus 6. Um, only 180,000. Warring looms. Minus 2.4, that's another half a million. Uh, microprocessor, we'll sell the Corpex K thing. Sell the antimatter housing, don't really need it anymore. I think that is about it for what we've got. And just gonna buy, see if there's any tritium here. Nope. I think before we. Ah, what's that over there? Let's see. Ah, annoying. I could quite like a, a ship looking like that. That's it's pretty awesome, actually. With the side panels. Um, I think what we'll do before we leave is we're just going to see if we can find a manufacturing base as well. Hopefully, it'll be all in the same direction. Supply depot detached. Okay. Well, we can always have a swoop down on a supply depot. Where are you? Living ship, there we are. A class, nearly there. One more level, please. 19 slot. The only thing over these is I don't like the chunky bit on the right hand side here. Oh, so. Actually, no, don't do it. Wait till we get into the ship first. And then let that build up. And then we can get into here. And some dioxide again. Wow. 
then quite literally going straight up into the air. Final settlement. So a little bit of a quick pop over here. Mm. And I suppose we can do the health one. I should be at maximum. I mean, in some ways, the health capacity here is redundant. And I'm probably taking a risk by saying that because there's a chance that Hello Game may make survival a little bit tougher in the future. Especially if they bring in even more extreme planets. And that'd be great. Um, right, let's just get over here. Talk to this assistant guy. Hello. Um, yeah, transmit location. I transmit the location by target, the client will be responsible for what they do with this information. I know it could be really fun if they add a way you could actually assassinate people. So you get assassination missions. Well that would make life a little bit interesting. Especially if you like had that really affected your standing and that the um, NPCs wouldn't talk to you if you really uh, upset them. <laughs> Probably the polite way of saying it. Right, so now I've got that, I've got that. Let's get back in here. Don't need that, check that. Uh, let's go and claim the base. My oxygen's getting a bit low. And scan the local plants. Um, yeah. There he is, Mr. Plunky. He's not hunking down this time. And let's see what we can get. Let's pull the. Oh, why have I got all these frost crystals in here? Let's send these to the freighter. So, what upgrades have we got? We've got a monitor engine mode. Boost tank size 25%, fuel usage minus 19. To be honest, I've never really had a, a fuel usage. I mean, if we put that there, that, I mean, I've never really had a fuel usage issue. That's the laser up here. Oh, it looks like I might have actually I made a mistake with the laser module. This may break. No, it hasn't. That's good. That's, that gives me plus seventeen percent lies laser mining power plus forty four percent. Wow! Gotta try this out. To be honest, I'm not too sure whether the Sentinels can actually destroy the Minotaur. That could be an interesting exercise, but I don't really want to do it in permadeath mode. Actually, um, let's just go in, stand over here. Gotcha. Reload. Oi. Ask you. Did I pick a fight? I might as well finish it off. <laughs> right, let's just get off of here. Shoot into here. I wouldn't mind a quad. There it is.
Oh, reload. Why can't I? It's my personal force field is 18%. Reload. Where are you? Aha, got you. Uh, reload. Reload. in here <laughs> uh, I better top this up first before I start messing around a little bit too much Reload. Where are you? Oh, there's the walker. Ah. Of course, I'm fighting him in the middle of a storm. Oh, splitter. Reload. Oops, no. Back in here. Yep, thank you. Okay. Get rid of you. Oops, reload. You're firing from the other side. <laughs> uh, isn't this fun? Where are you? Oh. Reload. I think the building's interfering with the personal shield. And he's probably going to get reinforcements now. I can't hit him. Oh. Um. Reload. Okay, I'm in trouble. <laughs> what did I say about not wanting any health? Well, that won't restore the shields, will it? Okay. I need a health potion. I need a health potion. I know there's none in the game, but... Uh, I've already lost two lives. Right, let's just see if I can finish him off with the ship now. I've actually got him engaged. Um. Wow. Doing bats. <laughs> I 
I know I'm making a dog's dinner of this, but that's the way it is. Did we get him? Yep, we did. Okay. Uh. You know, and change. I want the Walker brain. Through a lot of ammunition, and that's what's left of the walker. And I, I definitely need a multi tool with some better weapons on it because, in that final stage, when I was attacking the upper armor, the bolt caster was actually making very little impression on it. Anyway, I think it's enough of that excitement. I think we got a resource depot to seeing we're aggravating the sentinel population we might as well get out here so here we are we're coming down on the resource depot as usual it's oh, can't see it let's just fly away that direction first oh we've ups oh what we got here Oh, actually, let's drop in here first and cut what this actually is. We can always come back to the resource depot because that will be tagged. And, although I might have lost the tag now, actually, come to think of it. Let's just get in here, be a bit optimistic. Got some residual goop. And we've got some nanites. Uh, Oxygen plant. It's a little while since I've picked one of those. Um, read the encyclopedia. We got the get word for breach. Um, get a little bit of standing from the get. Um, nanites. About everything there is there. Um, let's go and take a quick look in here. And what have we got here? This is a transmission tower. You never know what we might find. Uh, do, 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 do. Just go through. Oh, good. Um, there'd be three fives, uh, 15 take one. Three fourteens is 42 take one. So that will be three two. That'd be three six six. So I'd say it's 365. Stress signal coordinates recovered. Okay, so we wonder where that's going to take us. Interesting. Well, we're going to check that out as well. I thought was actually thinking somebody left a comment and was talking a little bit about um, permadeath and surviving it and taking a few more chances and I think since I've got involved in the attacking freighters I have got a little bit more relaxed and not quite so cautious as I have been with the permadeath series at the same time I do have a concern that I might be getting a little bit too relaxed and taking a bit too many chances like I've just been doing what have got here two-legged kind of whatever they are <laughs> yeah just gonna... Uh, nice big crop of creatures here. Certainly going to pick those up. Sounds like I must have had a mission to scan the creatures. A, there was a bird there, but it's gone too far now. Anyone else here? Oh, yep. Got another one here. And scan some plants. We got three out of 12. Scan some rocks. Lots of a big scanning session. And we'll just jump back into the offspring. Now, where's that resource depot? Let's 
because it's over there. I can't see it that well. A little bit more radium. How far away is the distress beacon? So what we can do is get up into space and we'll go and check out the distress beacon. Just follow the chain of interesting locations. Which is something I really enjoy doing in No Man's Sky. In some ways that makes No Man's Sky so different that you can go down on a planet and say oh, I'm just going to do a bit of casual exploration. You find something then that leads you to something else and then you just get this chain of uh, things that you find and see so you go off in different directions. It's something I do really like about No Man's Sky and I find that that useful when I'm just playing for fun and relieving a little bit of stress because No Man's Sky still remains my stress relief game. Now if I've had a bad day I, I just like to come in and just play and see where things take me. We got a crash ship here, it looks, uh, looks like a sh yeah it's a shuttle but quite a nice looking shuttle actually. Let's just come here. When I have got a spare slot, and if it's, I mean, at the very least, we can always scrap it. It's an A-class shuttle. It's worth something. Um, in here. When, I mean, that's it's got a scrap value to it. So, um, I think we'll we'll claim that. I can then scrap that. That is definitely an A-class show. So we're just going to get that. Of course, what we will have to do is repair the. Oops. I mean, we have to do some repairs to it so that we can take it from the freighter and fly it into the space station. Maybe that'll be for the next part. Grab some more ammunition because I went through quite a lot of ammunition. Taking them, roughing up the, the locals. Bit of antimatter. Anything else of any interest around here? Oh, hello, Mr. Central. You're 296 away, you're 304. Um, and that's pretty close, so. Oops, let's just. Um, we will use the big iron battery this time. We might as well go and collect a little bit of buried technology while we're here. I mean, 200 meters isn't far. And I still need to build up the nanites. We'll just go and grab these. And then I just notice the time. And I don't want this video to be too long. So we'll just grab this little bit of buried technology. And then we'll go back to the space station cash those missions in and that will be it for this video about what we might be able to do well this is a bit further than i thought it was going to be <laughs> oh i still haven't recovered my health either <laughs> that's actually obligingly left on the surface there um Anything else there? You're 125, so we'll just go over and grab that. Ooh, a little bit of damaged machinery. Grab that. Grab the uh, viscous fluid. A bit more, a few, a little bit more nanites. So we have to dig for this one. Ships in that direction. Looks like there's some buried technology on the way back as well. Hello, have I got you? Yep. Actually, I just had a sudden. Wait, cut it out. Um, I think I've got a mission to feed creatures as well, so. Oops, yeah. One of those. Where are you? 
Hello, all crowd round. Eat the pellets. What was I doing? Uh, grab this. And my protection is dropping, so I better make my way back towards the ship. Um, oops, haha. <laughs> Hello, uh, grab some DCM while we're at it. That's the ship. Have I collected this one? I don't think so. Grab this one. Uh, some living slime. And get some more nanites. Looks like I'm managing to fill my inventory up with junk. Is okay. There's another buried technology just down there. Right on the edge of there. That. But in some ways, this has been a good location to visit. It's certainly worth it. Just leave our kind of junky ship down here for the moment. Like the neural assembly needs topping up. There's plenty of more dice, so okay. And we're just gonna blast the way through it. Actually, gonna do so. We're just gonna go for a, a nice long pulse drive and see if we can trigger another event. Okay, we've been flying for roughly two minutes in this direction and absolutely nothing has happened. So what we're going to do is we're going to now scoot back towards the capital vessel. Oh, that's a bit closer than I actually thought it was going to be. Anyway, we're going to fly back towards the space station and see if we can get a, an event coming back the opposite direction. Maybe if you just fly out into random space, it doesn't do anything. Maybe you've got to be near a planet or something. Well, the more we try, the more we find out. But we've got hostiles coming in, so... And we've got... Uh, we've got freighters coming in as well. And I'm certainly not attacking freighters in this uh, ship. We'll just go ahead. Yeah. Oh, great. To head for the space station, see if we can get there. And of course, now I'm probably under subject to hostile ships. I probably will get the event now. Yes, thank you, game. Let's keep going. Oh. There's the hostile ships. How many are there? Looks like there's two of them. Looks like I've actually got some defences here support with me. Wait. Definitely, this ship definitely needs a shield upgrade. Uh, a bit of chromic metal. Where are you? Oh, there you are. I think I'm getting some support from the local uh, freighters in the area. Watch out. Oh, oi. Yeah. Of course, I've got my targeting thing is now against the weight of the planet. I can't actually... That's pretty cool actually watching those uh, uh, ships just hanging in space there, uh, helping with the, the uh, defense. See how many missions I got. I mean, quit killing the, the quad could have completed a lot of missions because I did have some missions to kill quad sentinels. In fact, I might have had a mission to kill a walker. So you never know. And we'll just have a. Quick check. 
floor. And so I'll talk to mission agent Saipen. Come, friend, many await you. End in missions. Well, we've got two pages of missions. So we'll start from the bottom. I mean, the nanites are very much appreciated. That's there. Yeah, that's a quad. We've got another 239 nanites. Uh, for killing eight sentinels, we get 156 nanites. That mission must have been around a very long time because then it was kill eight sentinels. Uh, a level 245 for killing a, a quad. So you kill one quad and you complete lots of missions. So it's certainly worth picking these missions up. Uh, another, oh, I'm going to leave the enriched carbon because I'm not too sure about how much space I've actually got left in my inventory. I can I can do that once I've checked the inventory. Get a little bit of cash for that. And another one for killing central quads. These are all cash, so. And even more cash. And. Okay, I'll go for it. Got five enriched carbon. That should be okay. And of course, we're going to have a quick check of. See if we've got any new missions. Then great uh, hunt dangerous pirates, the right item, nope. And just to show you the situation now with my missions, I'm, I've still got four pages, but I've now, so I've still got some to kill sentinels, so these are probably uh, quite big ones. Yeah, so this is another one to kill sentinel quads. So anyway, so this is where I'm going to leave it. Hope you enjoyed the episode, hope you found it interesting. And until next time, whatever you do, Enjoy your gaming.